What is an interior designer? As interior designers, we have been trained to use space effectively and to enhance the quality and safety of interior areas while making them aesthetically pleasing. With this training, we combine knowledge of building codes, critical and creative thinking, psychology, and technology for the purpose of improving quality of life and increasing productivity. All of this is accomplished to protect your health, safety, and welfare. The programming phase is where the project is built, not brick by brick, but decision by decision. The programmer researches current and projected needs in such areas as information, privacy, and security. A thorough programming process is essential for maintaining an orderly and cost-effective design process later in the project. Schematic design is the initial design phase, translating all the research gathered from programming into rough sketches and ideas for the client. Interior designers start an intensive creative process of brainstorming and sketching, letting all design ideas flow. We combine our skills of problem solving, psychology, color theory, environmental design, and codes to rearrange these spaces in a way that will be intuitive and safest for future and current users of the space. The design development phase of the project refines concepts created in the schematic phase. First, we draw the building shell. Next, our permanent fixtures and millwork. Then it's time for the furniture. And of course, plenty of notes to make objects clear. Now it's looking like something. During the design process, we also select appropriate materials based on their application. For example, here is an illustration of a piece of contract furniture with commercial textile applied. A perspective goes something like this. The most common thing that a client sees is a perspective or a 3D modeling of the space. This program is one of our greatest tools. Within this 3D model, we can help display our design to a client easily with the help of SketchUp. In this phase, drawings created in the design development phase are turned into working documents for the contractor. Go back to our floor plan. First, we need dimensions, markers are added, door tags, and a legend. Finally, a drawing title and markers. This is the construction phase. The role of the interior designer is to adhere whether the work conforms with the construction drawings and specifications. Interior design is about much more than aesthetics. It is the combination of a series of complex decisions to solve a problem.